Yeah. And I remember, and I remember you said, um, energy drinks and people were, like drinking energy drinks. And I feel like along among like young people, like teenagers, they like, they live off energy drinks. They love it. And it's like, you know, lots of sugar, not good. How do you think like this almost like this, almost this like addiction to energy, energy drinks, how do you think it's going to affect like, like the younger generation, like in their future in terms of their gum health and overall health? So what, what they do not know with energy drinks, that is suppressing their adrenal glands. Adrenal glands are the ones that create all of the hormones with kind of giving energy, let's mm-hmm. say, right? And so you get all the energy from your hormones, but now you're drinking these energy drinks when your body says, oh, I got all the energy I need. Let's go ahead and shut down this gland for I won't produce as much of this hormone. Mm-hmm. And so when I, when I shut that down, what happens when you stop drinking the energy drink? The energy drink is like, I need my energy. What's going on here? So you get a crash. Yeah. And so you start becoming dependent upon all these energy drinks, chemical interventions, all these different medicines, anything that give you caffeine, give you the energy you need to get through the day. Mm-hmm. Whereas you, it's actually counterintuitive. But you drink energy drinks, it's actually suppress your energy oh. in the long run. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you want energy, you just simply have to eat what your body needs, proper nutrition. Yeah. And and know what it is? The number one s- source of nutrition is carbohydrates. Oh, and a lot of people think carbs are bad. They think it's bad because they think about all the processed carbs. But see, I'm talking about the, the, carb, the carbs you get in the plant foods, the fruits. Mm-hmm. It's all the carbs you need. And your diet really should be about 75% carbs because now you think about how the body is made again. Mm-hmm. The first thing that gets broken down is it fat, protein, or carbs in the body? Yeah. It's carbs. It's carbs. It starts in your mouth. The carbs start breaking down oh, I don't know in you're a your question. mouth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so this, this naturally speaking, if I'm going to try to get energy quick in my body, I'm going to eat carbs. Yeah. Don't, I'm not talking about granulated processed white cane sugar. No, you'll crash after that. You're going to crash after that. Yeah, get the carbs from your rices and your beans and your your vegetables. Now potatoes. You get, potatoes are fantastic, and people think potatoes are bad because they're carbs. Mm-hmm. But they, they they're looking at the micro ingredients, or that's a, that's a macro ingredient. But they're not looking at the whole of the potato, all yeah. the fiber, all the vitamins in the in the peel, the B vitamins, the C. Mm-hmm. All of that stuff works together. Yeah, you can't just isolate. And so going back to energy. That's how you get your energy. You don't need anything else. You don't need coffee. You don't need don't energy drinks. You don't need anything like that to give you energy. If you're going that, that route, it's a cue to let you know that you need to bounce back and eat more of a proper diet. And when you do that, not only your body's going to have more energy, guess what happens to your mouth? You'll be better. you be healthier. You'll be more healthier. It's yeah. really quite simple. Yeah. Okay. 